Hi everyone, my name is Inez. You're very welcome here to hear the word of the Lord. Today I have a special message for you today to tune in to the Spirit of God, to get closer to the things of God and that's up to you by spending time in the presence of our Lord in prayer and in worship. So we're going to get into this now, so let's pray in Jesus' name. So you're very welcome here and all the links that you need to know are down below. And thank you for all your love and support with this channel, with this ministry. And you are very blessed in Jesus' name. So Father, in Jesus' name, we give you glory, we give you praise. Lord, I just thank you for every single person who is here to listen to this message. May they be changed forevermore. Holy Spirit, I ask you to take over this message and every word that comes out of my mouth and have your way in the name of Jesus Christ and Amen. So I just want to talk to you really quickly about the Spirit of God. So the Lord today is telling us to draw close to him and he says that to us in many scriptures. Come close to me. He also tells us if you're weary to come to me, don't be carrying baggage. Don't be carrying all the stuff of the world all that baggage give it to me he says so remember when we surrender fully to the lord and when we get filled with the spirit of god when we get baptized in the spirit you're completely different you begin to see differently you begin to speak differently you begin to tune in to the things of god the spirit of god now there's ways to do this. Number one, definitely, is by renewing your mind with the word of God. And this is a call today. There's so many distractions out there today. So many different videos, so many different things you could delve into. But it's important that the word of God is going inside of you, in your ears, listening to it, reading it, day and night, speaking it. But not only that, but believing all of the word of God, not just some of it, but all of it. And then the Lord directs your paths. So in Psalm 119, 105, your word is a lamp unto my feet. It's a light to my path. So you could be completely prayerful and have no word. You could be full of the word and not pray at all. You could be lacking in prayer. So you see, God speaks to us in many ways through his word, number one, the still small voice, through others, through dreams and that knowing that you should or you shouldn't do something. In Galatians 5 and 25 says, if we live in the spirit, let us walk by the spirit. Remember, you're not your own anymore. You belong to the Lord. So we don't do the things we used to. We don't go to places we used to go. Our behaviour, our character is changing. God prunes us. He changes us. But you see, there's different realms of the spirit. And as you walk with God, as you go deeper, it's up to you if you want to go deeper. And different mantles are being given out at this time. And as you spend that time, you see, you can pray, oh God, give me this. God, give me that. But the Bible also tells us to rest in him. Just rest, be still and know that I am God, says the Lord. Just spend that time in quietness with him. And in Psalm 16 and 11 says, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. In your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. There's nothing more beautiful, beloved brother and sister, than just spend that time in rest focusing on the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, not asking for anything, just sitting in his presence. Maybe he'll speak to you, maybe he'll show you something. And this is a time that God is pouring out his spirit on others, pouring out his spirit on the lost, those who are broken, those who are in darkness, those who are full of pride, arrogant, don't want to know God. God is tugging at their hearts at this time. So make sure you're prayerful, especially this year, the things that are happening in the world. 
And that is your job as an ambassador of Christ. To pray against darkness, to decree and declare a thing. You have power and you have authority, so your words can change things. So there's times that God could tell you to pray for something, pray for a situation, pray for your family member, give to someone, help someone out. In Jude 1 and 20, beloved, building yourself up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You know, the Bible also tells us to sing psalms, speak the word. Just constantly the spirit flowing from you, rivers of living water flowing from you. Because you don't want to be dry. You don't want to be dry and clogged up. That's the last thing that you want. And that is how you know you're not spending time with the Lord in his word and in his presence. It's how you're speaking and how you feel. So remember, we don't go by feelings, we walk by faith. It's very important. So that is what the word of the Lord is saying to us today. In Matthew eleven fifteen. He that has ears to hear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying at this time. So God is speaking to his people. He's warning us about things. He's telling us to pray for things. He's preparing people. He's changing things. He's twisting things. He's moving things. So before God does anything, he'll always show you something. He'll reveal it to you or through somebody or through a sermon or whatever. But God is, is waking up his people. And don't forget, you have to store up the gift of God in you. If you don't feel like praying, that's the best time to pray. Pray against that darkness, against those fiery darts. So that you're not caught off guard. I've shared many stories on different videos of how things would happen say bad things would happen but God would always show me beforehand in the spirit when I'm spending that precious time with him and how precious it is to have that time with God that he could speak to us the creator and then the fruit of the spirit is and how we walk in the spirit. This is what it is in Galatians 5 and 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. You see, you have self-control again, such as there is no law. Now, those who belong to Christ Jesus have been crucified in the flesh to its passions and desires of the flesh of all these things you're walking now in the spirit no more getting offended bursts of anger jealousy rage lies bribery corruption lust an evil eye all of these things you have even control over the thoughts that you think just understand who you are Something pondering in your head, cast it down. I catch that, I take it down, I cast it down. I put it under the blood in obedience of Christ. You have power. So rise up, child of God, and walk in the spirit. Now listen, this is what God is saying at this time. Tune in to the Holy Spirit and listen to him. You could just be gone by your day, going to work, going to school, whatever it is you're doing. Washing the dishes. And the spirit of God will speak to you. He'll stir up a scripture. A song will come to you. A new song will begin to bubble up. The rivers of living water will begin to flow. God is doing amazing things at this time. So watch for those distractions. There's so many out there. So many. All the other stuff of the flesh. is The gossip and the lies and the juiciness and the slander. The church fighting each other. Fighting pastors. Fighting your leaders. Whatever it is. Stay away from things like that because you miss your blessing. Walk in the spirit. Keep your eyes focused on the king of kings. Let the river flow. It doesn't want to be clogged up. So stay in the presence of God and the fullness of God. God is pouring out blessings upon his people. God is protecting his people. God is turning things round for good. So no matter what the enemy has done, God always restores and gives back to you. So trust in him. Remember the other one is patience. 
peace, be still and be patient. God is for you. He's not against you. So I hope that's blessed you today. So have an ear to hear what the spirit of God is saying. And anything that you have done, you've been engaged in, just come to the King of Kings. Jesus Christ has his arms open for you. He doesn't condemn you. He's not standing there to tell you how bad you are. He's washed you with his precious blood. He has forgiven you. You are forgiven. He removes shame and guilt. So let it go and move on and walk in the spirit in Jesus name. So Father in Jesus name I decree and declare blessings over your people. Wisdom as your people walk in righteousness Lord. I pray protection over your people from distractions Lord. From any fiery darts of the enemy they are cancelled now. In Jesus Christ's name. And I say peace be still. In Jesus name. Open their eyes to see. And as they move deeper in the realms of the spirit Lord. In your presence there is fullness of joy. So I rebuke all heaviness. I bind every religious spirit. I bind every spirit of fear. And any strong man. We just break it in pieces by fire now. In Jesus Christ's name. Child of God. Rise up. Rise up and walk in the fullness of your destiny and of the power that is inside of you, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Keep going and don't look back in Jesus name. You are blessed. So God bless you and have the most amazing day, child of God.